camera? No. No, honey, I just wanted to make sure that you were still encouraging Fox and, you know, talking to him like you assumed that he was going to, to be all right. Yeah, well, you, you told me on some level he can hear me, so I want to do everything I can to give him hope. That's very good, because I think that this is a real key to his recovery. I think his knowing that you were waiting for him is the thing that could really pull him out of this. I'm glad about that, but... <sighs> Dr. Russell, it's not that I don't love Fox, because I do. But I... I love Miguel, too, and... You know, I thought that I had made up my mind that I was going to be with him, but now... I don't know. What am I going to do? I understand that you're just really confused about your feelings. Confused? <laughs> I'm completely in the dark. I, I don't know my own mind. Well, I mean, I know you have feelings for Miguel, so... How does it make you feel that Fox is in there and he's so messed up and everyone thinks that, that Miguel is the one who's at fault? Miguel did not run Fox over with his car. Okay, I know that they're saying that there's some evidence, some glass or something that was from Miguel's broken headlight that was found on or near Fox when he was hit. But the, the truth is, is that I've been with Miguel my entire life. He's not a killer. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I've known Miguel all his life and there's no way that he could run Fox down in cold blood and then just drive off. Right, and that he wouldn't. He, he wouldn't do anything like that. But who did this? I mean, are the police even looking for any other suspects? Because I think that they're just convinced that it's Miguel because of me. Because I'm in the middle of this awful soap opera triangle. Well, you know your dad is going to be doing a very thorough investigation. He's going to find out who ran Fox down. But he already arrested Miguel. Well, that's because that's the evidence that he has. And Teresa has managed to bail him out of jail, so... That's good, I guess. I still don't know what I'm going to do about this whole situation. Fox is, is dying from this terrible disease, and now he's in a coma. I can't, I can't tell him that I'm going to leave him to go be with Miguel. I mean, I guess I could, but I can't. Not, not if it's true that he can hear me and that my words will help make a difference in his recovery. So is that what you're planning to do? Are you going to leave with Miguel as soon as Fox gets better? Oh, God, I know. That sounds so terrible. No, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I haven't made a decision. I can't. How can I choose when I love them both? <laughs> I mean, Dr. Russell, tell me something. <laughs> is, it, is it possible to be in love with two men at the same time? <sighs> the, yeah. Yes, honey, it, it's, it's possible. But you are going to have to make a decision. It's either going to be Fox or Miguel, because if you don't, you're just going to turn everybody's life upside down.